what's up? How's it hanging, guys? We're right across the river from Council Bluffs, Iowa. Huh, I used to have a lover in Council Bluffs. Really? I did. I'll have to hear about Man, that. That's, that yeah. sounds like a story for a, uh, a couple cups of tea and a fire. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going on? We're downtown Omaha. Where are we going? So I've been talking to this gal, Kelly, OK? Yeah. Yeah. Kelly's boss, Larry, is selling off his collection, and he's trying to clear out this entire building. OK. What kind of stuff? Now, it's like a warehouse full of pinball machines, advertising, carnival items. He's got dolls. I mean, it's a pick and blowout. I'm not into the doll thing, Danny. <laughs> you know, hey, there's this lady that keeps calling the shop about dolls. She specifically said that you were interested in her dolls, Robbie. Get out of town. <laughs> man, what is up with you guys? <laughs> All right, man, send us the coordinates. Yeah, will do. I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. Hey, this is Kelly. Hey, this is Mike and Robbie. We're at two double doors right now on this address. I think you're around the corner. Just keep walking. OK. Uh, when you see the uh, big yellow streetcar. All right, I see it. All right. <laughs> Sorry. All right, we should have we should have been a little bit more patient. Welcome to Larry Land. Uh, What'd you say? I said, welcome to Larry Land. Holy cow. <laughs> Larry Land. Larry Land. How I'm you doing? Kelly. Rob hey, Wolf. Nice to see you. Nice to Hi, meet Mike. you. Hello. Thank you for coming. Come so, on in, So guys. why do they call this Larry Land? You'll see. Okay. It's a, a strange and wonderful place. <laughs> a strange and wonderful place. <laughs> um, after you. All right. OK. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Well, let me see if wow, I can find him. Cool. Why don't you guys follow me? OK. Holy cow. Dang. I mean, when you walk into this place, I can see why they call it Larry Land. I mean, one whole part of this huge building is devoted to old carnival and circus gaffes and different things. What the heck? Larry! Larry, I have Mike and Robbie here for you. What's going on, buddy? <laughs> hey, I'm Mike. Mike? Nice to Larry. meet you. How My you brother doing? Robbie. Larry, nice, nice to meet, meet you. The flyer. You think we got a few of these things? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much all of it. What's going on, man? What are you doing with the poster? Oh, I've just taken them off the wall. We've got a firehouse letterpress print shop that we're putting together. Kelly runs it for me. And, okay. Uh, I'm going to take these all off. To oh, you're making, shop. you're reproducing well, this? We're going to reproduce stuff like this. So, where's your, uh, where's the print shop at? It's over in Council Bluffs, Iowa, which is 10 minutes uh, Oh, yeah. Well, I was telling so. Robbie on the way yeah. here that uh, Omaha was a suburb of Council Bluffs, isn't it? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, can say, I can say that because I'm from Iowa. Yeah, I'm from, from Iowa. Iowa. We're from okay. Iowa. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, you got this kind of vibe at the print shop? We're all old school. We use antique letterpress machines wood blocks and fonts. We have really? this huge collection of advertising plates. It's really fantastic. So like what time period are the machines from? Well, they go all the way back to the early 1900s and before. Wow. Yeah. There's not a lot of people out there that would actually buy all the printing press equipment and then start manufacturing the posters again just strictly because of passion. I mean, yeah, there's a dollar to be made at the end of it, but that's a huge journey to take. That's awesome, man. So you're doing it. Yep. She's you're living it. the life. Yep. I'm doing she it, needs yeah. Get, and she needs to get back to work. The really big part of it is finding someone that believes in your passion, that understands you, and that wants to go on that journey with you. And that's Kelly. She is way more than an employee to him. She's like his Danielle. These look like they've got a little bit of age to them. So do you remember stuff like this when you were a kid? Uh, I do, from going to the carnivals. Yeah. And I've been trying to, I just bought these. I'm putting together a carnival boot for my grandkids. So oh, so they could actually throw the balls, right. knock these down and everything? Right. so they can experience that. That's super cool, yeah. man. I love that. You have the these wings? Inside here. You you know, have I the made wings? the wings. Oh, you made those wings, OK. Because I wanted to put them up there so they looked like they were flying. Oh, I see what you're saying. OK, so, so they these didn't, didn't have wings. They didn't have no, wings. No, they never had wings. OK. All of these carnival rides are a direct connection to somebody's past. That's why they're so popular. So the old motorcycles, the old boats, the horses, the airplanes connected with so many people. Plus, they just got a great aesthetic. So the colors on these are airbrushed, you know? I don't think they're super old, but they've got the look, you know, they've got that dog fight look. It's even impressed on the, the, the wing. Let's Who made say. it? Let's say King? King Amusement King Company? Amus yeah, one of the big amusement companies. I have a train made by them. Okay. You have a train made by these guys? I do, an outdoor train. How heavy are they? I don't know, let me pick heavy. it up. That's not that heavy. No, no, it's wood and fiberglass. I mean. Okay, what, like, what do you want for something like this? Uh, probably 300 a piece. 
All right, I'm, I'm not even going to try to talk you down. I love them. Okay. Man. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for pricing them. I think they're really Yeah, cool. they're great pieces. I mean, stuff like this, I mean, I don't know if it sounds cheesy or not, but it's it's fun, man. Yeah. It's like you look at that and you the, the, you smile. Right. You yeah. know, it's re they're really fun, you know? It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads. It's dumpster diving. It's flea markets. It's people's homes.